Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dijana. Uh... Last time I did this, it full screened automatically. I guess it won't now? That's fine, I don't want it to be full screened anyway. Uh, where are we? Game crashed last time. I think we're at the start here. Or your uncle's in the desert filming again. He's got a screw loose, that man. Man is shaking with rage. He clings to his chair and grinds his teeth. He can barely contain it. Things have been getting worse and worse for a while, I think. So there's some way to look inside. That door is blocked. So I explored this whole town and then uh, crashed. Live from the 100 Gex Recording Studio. I don't know why you came here. Me either. So this one's really weird. One, there's, there's, you know, sometimes called the deep problem, which is... That, let's, let's take a listen, um, then. Consciousness depends on brain states and what goes on in our nervous system. But your consciousness at any particular moment isn't anything like a brain state. It's, um, it's got... So yeah, the devil just, whenever you come in and then leave, the devil just talk to you about consciousness. A dream at 600 meters, the pop, the pressure obfuscates her hearing. At 900, her ears pop and she gets the feeling her hearing is clearer than it had ever been. At 906, she forgets. She sat in a row with three children and three parents. His brother and twin sisters are behind us, grinned Daddy. First time flying. Four or five were screaming before the plane was moving. An awkward attempt to mix baby formula in the aisle. She returned from the toilets to find her earbud in the boy's twin mouth. Boy twin's mouth. She worried that more and more of the analogies referred to the technology of the time. The worry came as she alluded to the white shapes she kept seeing in her periphery. I don't know if that's how you spell that. As... Like cracked phone screens. These hallucinations started a week before they went missing. A dream, walking on the shore. Either no sound or muffled humming. A lightness in our steps. Daughter on shoulders. Him walking close. The feeling of admiration as he watches. Then maybe we are somewhere else. Daughter sleeping on shoulders. Muscles on her thin bare legs feel limber and her chest rests on the back of my head. He is further away by the second. An intense feeling. Either no sound or muffled humming. Turbulent shakes the plane as it descends. The mother cradles her child, terrified. The child has finally stopped crying. A man diagonally across finds distraction by watching a video of a scuba diver. The course of children crying takes a crescendo. Cabin crew takes position for landing, and we are assured this is normal safety procedure for night flights. So last time I was in here when I did this and I clicked on it again, it would say, like, just a normal bed for sleeping. And I also didn't get the story about the lady on the beach with a daughter and her husband falling away. I love the sea. Now, I don't want to say that that's like a nightmare that you wake up to. Like, you are, you're having a nightmare about technology of the time. And then you wake up to a plane crash. But how about Tuesday? No, Wednesday? Oh, I can't do a Wednesday. It'll have to be next week. Like, I don't want to say a plane must mean a plane crash. But someone did talk about a plane crash earlier today. And that it's something that you don't expect. I saw it. I think it's blasphemy of the highest order. I saw it, but I don't think it looked like blank. So I think there are three responses in this line. I couldn't see it. Or four. I saw it, but disagree. I couldn't see it. I, th I saw it. I think it's blasphemy. My husband turned into a spider. Typical. So this one really scared me. Sorry that you don't get my fresh expression, but... This is a room, and then on the wall is a painting or picture of the room that we're in. And the, I, like, Dujana is standing in a certain place in this picture, and on the wall is, like, in the place of where this picture would be on the wall is what appears to be a tongue or something. Yeah, and then you hear slow down talking and baby cries. 
It's creepy. The generation plan had an explosion a few years ago. Everyone watched from the Bosapez. Everyone from the Z Bosapez went out and watched the sky. The smoke was colors like oil and water. A few of my friends got caught in the blast, and I was thinking, thanking my lucky stars, it wasn't me. Since then, I've had this mighty, mighty fear of death. I hope to find a cure for it in my lifetime. Buddy eggs. And I noticed that there are. There are, like, three seats here, unless this person is standing. But it looks like someone has, like, tossed their chair aside and walked out, leaving their warm breakfast, like, uneaten. Which is something that you just hate to see. Husband turned to a spider, typical. I am still recording, yes. Good. See, now I feel like I have to make up for all of the stuff that I that got cut and like not even intentionally cut. Like purely by accident. I don't know why it came here. There was just a annoying crash. Right. I'll give you the biggest present you've ever had. So big you won't know what to do with it. I'll give you the C. Yes. And I'll wrap my arms around your legs and become your tail. I commented on that being weird last time and like exceptionally weird because it's like weirder than the other stuff in this game that's still weird. I've suffered from seizures since I was born, but when I got into my teens, they got real bad. I didn't really have many friends at school because of it. I understand. I forgive them. It's not their burden to bear. I think that's the wrong bear. Doctor's got me Dally. He's an incredible dog. He can smell when I'm about to have one of my episodes, and he gives me my sleeve, a, give my sleeve a little tug so I can sit down somewhere, and I won't bang my head. He's getting old now. I'll miss him when he's gone. He's a good friend. Again, another, like... I feel like, okay, so I don't trust the dev, and especially the fact that he says that the, the message at the start is randomized. So my, I'm going to say not here, actually. So my thought process is, there must be, like, five or six different themes. And, like, maybe identity is one of them, but just the fact that he tells me that makes me want to, like, almost avoid looking for identity as a theme. Um... Maybe identity is one of them, but I'm noticing the themes are like random tragedy, preparing for death, like preparedness for death. Not to wax lyrical there. Um, but yeah, like being aware that death will come and and like just being ready for it. Uh, and like... I'm noticing a theme of people turning into spiders. Joan would come home from the dances. She'd say, can I give you a wee hug to warm up? She'd get into bed and I'd brace myself for the cold. Sandra was the opposite. She'd come home for the dances and burn you with her cigarette so you'd budge and she could steal your warm spot. For whatever reason, Dad would choose her more than the others for beatings. Now that explains her behavior. Are those about your sisters? I didn't really do a lot of like sharing a bed growing up. I'm more worried about the spiders, if I'm honest. See, I'm noticing a theme of men mistreating women. And hey, look. A version of the child a version of the child expressing themselves through play. Child doesn't want to talk. A version of the child is expressing himself through, through play. So when we click on this, that can just happen. So the game crashed partway through this. I'll be honest, you can see a man's dick in this, but it's not like crass or lewd. It's relatively tame. Uh, so I don't know if I, like I could probably show that, right? I don't know, cause the, 
strangest things will just nuke like we'll just nuke an, uh, a video for YouTube you know once upon a time upon an era upon that's how they that's how they show it there was a man this man was the most ordinary man to have ever fallen from heaven he had slipped away from God and the cherubs quite simply and with relative ease due to the fact that he was completely unremarkable. He fell to earth in a particularly large raindrop and settled in a house made from a giant beech tree's roots. Unlike the other men and women who came to earth from above, this man simply wanted to live on soil with nature and didn't want to perform miracles of any kind. He lived a lonely life, feeding on fruits from the forest. He knew nothing of passion, of jealousy, of hate, of anything that lovers suffer. One day, while picking some particularly plump strawberries, he heard what to him seemed the most peculiar sound. It was coming from a big bunch of briars that shook intermittently. The sound, as big sounds tend to do, got louder as he warily approached and moved him to smile. So yeah, it crashed here. Turn that back down. Oh, you can play this. Well, then this is useless. Like, I don't want, like, I don't know what will and won't, like, just cause YouTube to, like, destroy something. And, like, I don't want to lose my channel. But, like, sometimes something is, like, a considered an art game. Like, I think you can show Dick in Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. Like, he's even got the hyper-realistic eyes, you know? Okay, I guess that's nothing, then. At the briar bush, he started to move away the thorns to get to the haunting sound that now vibrated his head and warmed his soul. When he finally moved the last obstructing rope of thorns, the sight was so alarming that he collapsed then and there, right into all the thorns. What he saw was another human, a man, and not just any man, a beautiful witch who bound his spells through song. He awoke sore with scratches, not in the comfort of his mossy roots with the reassuring sound of water, but somewhere very strange indeed. He had thought that he was the only one of his kind on earth, and he'd stopped using his voice long ago, never realizing the emotion of singing. And where was he? Trees towered around him, and his bed was of sweet scented petals. He stood up and looked around. The trees made a perfect wall and shelter, and a natural door and windows had been made as the branches had woven together in the strangest manner. Are you sore? A silky flute-like voice spoke. He spun round and found that the witch was by his side, quite unexpectedly. He nodded and looked at his scrape sadly. Come, eat something, the witch beckoned. Finding he was hungry, he agreed and followed. 
outside on display were the plains and the mountains, and he could see the tree he called home far, far below. He became aware that he was very high up on a great green mountain, and observed that a young spring had covered the world in blossoms, from the forest to the plains. He uttered his first words since leaving heaven. Who are you? His dry throat spoke. The stranger passed to him a rich, sweet fruit and replied, I am the witch of night's still whispers. He felt compelled to touch the witch and stepped forward to do so. He softly placed his hand against the witch's face, but as he did, the witch faded and disappeared. Confused and in love for the first time, the man grabbed at the space where once had stood a figure, but his hands fell through thin air. As he dropped to his knees, he heard the voice once more singing, I shall wait forever as the days turn to night, swallowed in the shadows that glow. Without knowing what to do, he cried to the sky, and as he did, the sky cried back. Days went past, and so became weeks, which turned there into months. The man thought of the witch, who now he could not love more than aught but God himself. He remembered how lovely things were when he was alone, but now he had experienced what life could give, he could not go back. At times, especially on the slow nights of summer, he thought he heard singing, and so it became winter, and neither had the witch of night still whispers appeared to him, nor left his thoughts. Nothing would be the same again until he came back. A big crystal blue tear rolled down his nose and dripped off his chin. As it hit the ground it made a sound like ice cracking and the ground seemed to freeze. The tear didn't soak into the earth, as water tends to do, but stayed in a ball of blue above it. Quite forgetting his sadness, the man watched the enchanted tear as it started to roll upstream, freezing the earth as it went. The man followed the sad salty sphere for over a week, and now most of the land had frosted over when suddenly the tear stopped its steady pace. The man also stopped, wondering where it had led him. He took his eyes off the tear and found himself next to a glimmering lake, a lake of tears. The plain man from heaven knew not what to do. He found the lake of the beautiful witch's song and had expected to find the witch there. No such luck. He gathered food and set up a small fire, for he was inhumanly hungry and tired, and set about to eat and then to sleep. As he closed his eyes, he heard the sound from the briar bush leave his own lips. He was singing for the first time. Okay. Turn that back down. Child feels better. And hey, we got a version of the child expressing themselves through play. But yeah, I don't know what that means. Maybe that's a theme that I've just missed. Uh, but yeah. That appears to be the whole village. Oh god. Dude. Look, I know I don't get paid for this, but strictly speaking, I do play video games for a living. And this feels pretty bad. I know that it is a quote unquote realistic way to control the motorcycle, but this feels obnoxious. The thing about, like, 
Hylix is that Hylix doesn't really start with a story. Like, there's stuff in Hylix, of course. But the game is just so weird that, like, you're like, oh, yeah, there's just a little guy walking around. Now I'm Wayne. But in this, like, it starts with a strong story and theming, and, like, that. It, this, this is, you know, a very Western flag, obviously. Those automatons really give me the willies. Where are we at? Uh, we are at the Amquay Hodgkin's generation plant, which blew up earlier. It'd be great if all work was automated and the flesh ones could pursue their true desire. But like this game has a very strong like narrative, like right off the bat. You ever think perhaps we're part of the problem? Nah. I think the earth itself is making the CO2 levels freakishly rise. Haha. <laughs> yeah, let's play volcanoes. Ha <laughs> ha. Fucking volcanoes. These mechs are always impra these mechs are really impractical and they're always breaking down, but try, try telling Mr. Hodgkins that. I'm a blowtorch lighting a gas stove, which in turn lights a candle. I can't remember being the match. Interesting. That Amway dude really freaks Amway dude really freaks me the hell out. I hear he's using the body of a disabled child as a host. Wouldn't put it past him, sicko. He's jacked up on bad drugs. He uses his power to plan to support his sick obsession with death. He's a jazz enthusiast. You're deformed. Like, we know that, like, Venice and, and other, like, London exists. Were they, like... How on earth am I meant to fix this? Why not use like a real like white European like flag, you know? Because this is clearly meant to be like a hybrid Australian, British, and like American flag. Under this earth, 200 frozen bodies. I guess because they wanted to use a fictional country from the Middle East, they also wanted to have a fictional country oppressing it. I prepare my lessons each night, and each morning my classroom's empty. Look at his sprite. Look at like what he's made of. That's kind of cool. Down here, in the bottom right. I think that's a little clever. That's a tin can. Bloody machines coming up here speaking our language. Bloody machines taking our jobs. They should piss off back to where they came from. These flesh ones chewing their babies. Oh, so machines are like a race, huh? Making it real subtle. You see me, I be work, 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 work. You see me do me dirt, 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 dirt. Again, more on, um, like, video effects here, I'm noticing. There's a movement to make all vehicles self-driving. There came to be a point where moral resolutions had to be made over when the vehicle should kill the passenger over a number of pedestrians. No one would buy the car that chose anyone over the passenger. I mean, yeah. Like, if it comes down to it, and God forbid it does, but if it does, and God forbid that it does, but if it does, and God forbid, but if it does, it will kill you. Like, you bought a car that kills you. We become the tools of our tools. Some pretty erudite observations here from, like, just blue-collar laborers. And some pretty, you know, unenlightened ones.
where am I meant to go from here? Earlier I was talking about how in some art games you can do stuff that you really can and should not do in any other medium, and especially in a video game. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that this is that area. Um, and like... Oop, game almost crashed there. And, like, this is something where, like... Yes, I get that some people will, will make a video game where, like, no, the controls are supposed to be bad. Like... Two simple nerve cell clusters make up the spider's central nervous system. Compliment the spider on accomplishments. They find the presence of a smelly girl terrifying and run away. Item, salt of the earth. No arms, no legs. Super babies. Bold claim learned bigot. Learn spell morphine porridge pump. Scrappy doo doo. What the? Okay. But sometimes there's something where, like, you'll have, like, a. Uh, like, a, an art game that does something that, like, you shouldn't do in a video game and, like, actively feels bad to play. Um. And, like,. That's kind of weird that you would make the game like that. And, like, sometimes I get it. Like, hey, the controls in Silent Hill 2 suck because James isn't a combat guy and can't fight. And that makes sense and that's fine. Uh, but sometimes it's a thing where, like, I don't know how to code a motorcycle so the motorcycle doesn't control really good. Um, but, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here that I, I feel almost unprepared to speak about. I didn't know I'd have to get into such deep, like, like, political ramifications here. And not even political, like, sociopolitical, you know? That sort of thing. But yeah, um, I'll cut it here, uh, and we'll pick this up next time. Uh, I'm an alpha, this has been Dujana. Uh, relatively cheap on Steam, and then it goes on sale for even cheaper. So, if this looks interesting to you, and you want to dive deep, and see the dick, and play more of the games, then please, by all means.